ABCs and Tools is dedicated to Bo. Bo is the godson of friend and fellow narrator Gina. Bo, I hope you enjoy this book for many years to come. May you always be healthy and happy, and may all your dreams come true. A is for axe. An axe is a tool that is used for chopping trees or wood. Firemen sometimes use an axe to break through doors or walls to get to a fire. A is for axe. Mommy says we need more wood for the fire. Daddy used his trusty old axe and gave that backyard tree 40 wax. B is for bolt cutter. A bolt cutter is used for cutting chains, padlocks, and even cutting through mesh. Policemen can use bolt cutters to get into school lockers if the need arises. B is for bolt cutter. If you are ever lost and alone, you can always trust a policeman to get you home. C is for crowbar. Crowbars are mainly used to pry things open. The crowbar has a hook shape and slightly curved bottom that gives it better leverage. C is for crowbar. Please be careful when you use a crowbar. If it slipped and hit your face, it would more than likely leave a scar. D is for drill. This tool is used for drilling holes in different types of material. A drill uses a variety of drill bits for drilling through various materials like concrete and even steel. D is for drill. The word drill has different meanings. It is a tool used for drilling holes. It is also a machine for planting crops of seeds in rows. E is for electrical tape. This type of tape is pressure sensitive. It is used for insulation of wires or other materials that conduct electricity. E is for electrical tape. Mommy and Daddy don't want you to get a shock, so on the electrical outlet in your room, they put a childproof lock. F is for flashlight. A flashlight is a small handled spotlight. It usually requires batteries to work and shines a beam of light to aid carpenters and construction workers to see in dark places. F is for flashlight. Johnny is afraid to be alone in the dark at night, so he always carries his big red flashlight. G is for glue gun. This is a gun-shaped electrical tool used for melting and applying sticks of adhesive to various surfaces. A glue gun is great for crafting, but is also used for quick and easy fixes around the house. G is for glue gun. On some of his jobs, Daddy has to use a glue gun. When crafting, Mommy also uses a glue gun. It is so much fun. H is for hammer. A hammer is a must tool for any carpenter. It has a weighted head that is attached to a long handle. A hammer is used mainly for driving nails into wood. It can also be used for shaping and breaking a variety of items. H is for hammer. Ouch, said Johnny as the hammer missed the nail and hit his thumb. Boy, complained Johnny, that was really dumb. I is for ice pick. An ice pick is normally a household tool used mainly for breaking up or chipping ice. I is for ice pick. You have to move slowly when using an ice pick. You could stab your hand if you move too quick. J is for jigsaw. This is a power tool used for cutting holes, curves, stencils, and bevels on wood, tile, steel, and even carpet. J is for jigsaw. Daddy is able to cut metal with his jigsaw. Sure wish they'd been around in my day, said my grandpa. K 
is for knife. One of the more popular tools carried by carpenters, there are numerous types of knife blades to choose from. Depending on the project, a carpenter might choose a hawk bill blade for marking, a stockman blade for framing, or a straight edge pointing blade for fine furniture. And the list goes on. K is for knife. Please be careful using that knife blade. Just knowing how sharp it is makes me a little afraid. L is for ladder. This is a tool used for climbing to higher areas. Ladders can be made of metal, wood, and even rope. Various types of ladders can be used for certain projects. For instance, step ladders are popular for use in homes or in gardens. Firemen often use a turntable ladder when fighting fires. Rope ladders are popular for climbing trees or for rock climbing. L is for ladder. I used Daddy's ladder to climb up on the roof of the house. You see, I was trying to get away from a very big mouse. M is for measuring tape. Very popular with carpenters and construction workers is the retractable measuring tape. It is made of metal, plastic, or even fiberglass and is semi-rigid when extended. A retractable measuring tape can extend as long as 25 feet or more. M is for measuring tape. Stand up straight against the bedroom wall. We'll use Daddy's measuring tape to get your height. Wow! You are getting so tall! N is for nail gun. A nail gun is often used in construction to drive nails into wood and other types of material. A nail gun is quicker, more powerful, and more accurate than using a hammer for some projects. N is for nail gun. Wow, Daddy! Your nail gun works really fast to put those nails in the wood. I bet if I had a nail gun of my own, I could learn to be that good. O is for orbital sander. This is a handheld tool that can produce a finer finish than a standard finishing sander. Another type of sander used in construction is an air-powered sander. O is for orbital sander. When I grow up, I want to be a carpenter just like my daddy is. He has so many really cool tools in that toolbox of his. P is for pliers. The most important function of a set of pliers is for gripping. Pliers are also used for bending and cutting wire. There are various types of pliers like needle nose, clip joint, and flat nose. The project determines the type of pliers needed for the job. P is for pliers. There are many uses in the house for a set of pliers. They are good for gripping things like twisted wires. Q is for quarter inch drive ratchet. This one is great for everyday use of many projects. A ratchet tightens and loosens fasteners quickly and easily. There are numerous sizes to choose from depending on the project. Q is for quarter inch wrench drive ratchet. Have you ever seen a quarter inch socket? It is small enough to fit into your pocket. R is for rope. Rope can be used for many things on a construction site, repairs around the house, and other activities. Ropes are used for climbing, towing, and even securing and carrying gear and supplies for the job site. R is for rope. Ropes are not just used for work. They can also be used for fun, like securing a hammock to enjoy laying in the sun. S is for screwdriver. No carpenter would be caught without a screwdriver. It is mainly used for screwing and securing screw-type fasteners. 
There are both manual and powered screwdrivers available. Phillips head and flathead screwdrivers are two of the most popular. S is for screwdriver. Johnny found a big yellow screwdriver in Daddy's toolbox. Then, Daddy found Johnny putting screws into his new red blocks. T is for toolbox and tool belt. Toolboxes come in all different sizes. They are good for keeping your tools organized and secure when not in use. A tool belt makes it possible to have immediate access to the tools needed for whatever project you are currently working on. T is for toolbox. When you are young, pretending to be a carpenter can be so much fun. You can take a hammer from Daddy's toolbox and bang on every toy. Boy, that will fill your parents' heart with so much joy. U is for utility knife. This type of knife has a small folding or retractable blade. It is very popular with carpenters. U is for utility knife. A utility knife can be a very dangerous tool. Leaving it lying around with the blade open is not too cool. V is for vice grips. Vice grips are used primarily for projects around the house. They can remove broken screws, clamp small things, and even open a zipper if the pull breaks off. This is a very handy tool to have around the house. V is for vice grips. The zipper pull broke on my favorite pair of jeans. Since they will not go down over my hips, I need to borrow Daddy's brand new vice grips. W is for wrench. A wrench is used to fasten a joint that has a nut and bolt. There are many different types of wrenches, such as monkey wrench, lug wrench, socket wrench, and the popular Allen wrench. W is for wrench. One of my favorite tools is an Allen wrench. I can always find one, if I need it, on Daddy's workbench. X is for X-ray stud finder by Wallabot. This is a cutting-edge tool that works with a dedicated app and Android phone. It was designed for plumbers, electricians, and other contractors to allow them to see through walls and find studs. X is for X-ray stud finder. Did you know there is a tool that helps workers see through a wall? Daddy used it when he was looking for the studs along the entryway hall. Y is for yardstick. A yardstick can be a straight edge or foldable ruler. It is used to measure length and is a common construction tool. Y is for yardstick. A yardstick is handy for making many things. A yardstick arrow makes unique wall decor. Or how about the hands of a bicycle clock? And oh, so much more. Z is for Zax. This is a tool that is used by roofers for hammering and puncturing roofing slates. Z is for Zax. Roofers punch holes in slate with a tool called a Zax. This tool is sometimes also known as a Slater's Axe. Bo. I hope you, your friends, and kids everywhere have had fun reading ABCs and tools. Some tools you are familiar with, like a hammer, screwdriver, and measuring tape. Others may be new to you, like an orbital sander or a Zax. I hope you enjoyed reading about them as much as I enjoyed researching them. Best wishes, Laura Johnson.